What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my favorite new toy, the Rubbermaid Fast Track Rail along with the multiple different hooks that you can get from them. That way you can organize your garage, make it look nice and neat like this. Before I have this, things were just kind of laying on the floor as you can see right now. I still have plenty of stuff that need to, you know, be organized and I'm going to get more hooks and organize everything vertically on my wall. As you can see, I have plenty of space. Now think about it, all of these walls in the garage are kind of like wasted space if you don't use it. But if you use these, everything just becomes so much organized and so much neater. So this is the finished product right here. I'm going to go ahead and take everything down and show you how to install it and why I love it so much. So let's go ahead and take them all down as if you are going to use them. Look how simple this is guys. Neat and nice just like that. So I'm gonna take all this down and as you can see, I even have my trimmer up there and this is pretty heavy itself. So these hooks up here can hold up to 50 pounds. So you can pretty much put anything you want on there. Ladder, uh, bicycle, table, chairs, fan or Christmas tree holder. Anything you can think of guys. All right, so here's what it looks like with all the tools off. Now, a couple of things I want to clarify is a lot of people online, they leave reviews on Amazon. I read it before I purchased this. They say that these are not secure because they don't install it properly. So with these types of hook right here, as you can see, when I pull down on it, push up on it, it does not go anywhere and it is secure in place very nicely. So with these types of hook to remove it from the rail, all you have to do is press right here. So press right here, it release. And now you can actually take the entire hook off. Now to put them into place and make sure they stay in place securely, this is how you do it correctly, guys. Hook this on top. Now this is the tricky part right here. Sometimes all the hooks doesn't work right away. So when you push this down, as you can see with this one, it snaps in place very easily. And now you can actually move it right or left wherever you want it to be. And then you can actually put your stuff on it and it is tightly secured there. But let me show you another example. Let's see this one right here. So this hook, when I push it down, you hear a light slap snap, but it doesn't snap on fully. So when you push it up, it still kind of fall off. So for this right here, you can actually push right here, guys. Just push it in until you hear a horse snap like that. And now it is secure in place and will not go anywhere. And you can put whatever you want on there up to 50 pounds and same goes for this one to release it just press it right here and now take it off just like that guys so what i'm going to do now is take all of these hooks down and i will leave all the links to all of these hooks in the description box down below that way if you want to get any of these you can just click on the link at the bottom in the description box and you can get the exact same ones that i have so as you can see there guys just within a few seconds, I've taken all the hooks down, just that simple. Now, I have the Naked Rubbermaid Fast Track Rail only. Now, these actually come in 48 inches or 84 inches, and that is like a four foot or eight foot. I got the four foot because I measured my wall and it pretty much matched exactly with this 48 inch. And I might get another 84 inch, two of them, and run it across this entire wall. I'll see. Uh, how my budget is and uh, what the prices are like. The rail right here is actually uh, very affordable, only about uh, $10 or $11 or so. The expensive part is actually these hooks right here. They cost, each hook costs about the same price as one of these rails. So that's the thing that you have to decide on right there. So for this rail right here, so this part simply slide out. So let me have, go ahead and show you. So slide this part out. So it gets off just like that. And what you see here is the naked rail. So this is kind of like a metal materials. The trickiest part about the installation of this is you need to have a, a stud finder or if you know exactly where your stud is already, then you don't need it. But what I have here is this little, uh, very affordable stud finder for only about uh, $5 or something like that, but I'll leave a link to this in the description box down below as well That way you can get it, but to use this it's very easy All you have to do there's a button on here Of course you have to put battery in there first put on your wall, right? And then what you do is you press this button here Hold it down and keep on moving When it beeps like that this line show up what this means is that the end of the stud is right there So once you find this end of the stud 
You pick it up, you move over to this side. You press a button again, and you move over to this side. So for example, from here, press a button, go over here. Now when that happens, just redo it. So this is the other side of the stud. So this is one side of the stud, and this is the other side of the stud. So in the middle is where your stud is exactly. So that's why, as you can see, I put the screw right there. So you can screw one here and one on top. That way you can actually secure the rail in place. And I have two here, another stud here, and another here. So I have six screws all together for this 48 inch rail. Excuse my kids, guys. So after you do that, it is very tightly secure in place. Oh, and another thing you might need to use, I don't think it's essential, but it is important to me. You will need this uh, right here. So this is what going to tell you if your rail is absolutely straight from left to right. So what you can do is you can get this, the leveler, and you just leave it here, right? Once it is exactly straight, what you can do is pretty much draw a line with your pencil or pen across on top or on the bottom right here because you're going to cover it up with this rail anyway. That way you have one straight line of pen or pencil across there and then you can put your rail on there. All you have to do is find your stud and then screw in your screws and after that put on this piece and then put on these hooks right here and you're ready to go. But let me show you how easy this is. As you can see, so these fit right onto this rail right here. So. As you can see guys, I'm doing this with one hand, so you can actually do it with a piece of cake with two hands guys. So just like that, and you are ready to put your hooks on there, snap them on, and put all of your tools and stuff on there. Oh, and one very important thing I need to mention here is they do not come with these screws right here. So make sure you purchase some of these screws. That way you can actually screw the rail onto your wall. And these are two inches screws that I have. So you don't have to get anything exact in particular. Just get two inches screw that will actually uh, fit onto your stud. All right, so hooks are back up and here's another combination of things I put up there. Some of my electric tools along with some of my foldable chairs. And you can absolutely put whatever up there you want, guys. I still have to buy more hooks to put my bicycles and uh, chairs and fans and multiple ladders, trimmers, all this stuff, guys. But anyway, the way I do this, that way you still have plenty of room on the floor and I still have all the garage spaces and I can still park my car in here. That's the thing that I really love about it. My garage no longer look colored like this in a few more days and it will look organized just like this guys. So once again, I love this product right here and here it is with my family van parked in the garage guys. It does not interfere at all with my parking and it actually gives me much more space because before all this stuff was actually on the floor, like I have some other stuff right now and I could not park my car this far up to the front. So now I got all this stuff uh, up here I could park closer to the wall, thus giving me more space in the back over there. So again, eventually all of this is going to be going on to the wall and I can even park further up here, giving me even more spaces in the back. And I will leave all the links to everything I use in the description box down below. So feel free to check it out guys and give me your thoughts and opinion on what you think about this product right here. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you all in the next video.